Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 84 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about Auto Advance. Now, I did cover Auto Advance in a previous episode. In this episode, I'm going to give you a little twist on using it. Now, many of you probably are familiar with Auto Advance. It comes in really handy if you're going through a large number of images. Maybe you're culling the images to decide which ones you're going to keep and which ones you're going to delete. Or maybe, in my, like in my case here, you're just picking images that you want to print. Well, on the other hand, maybe you're just going through images and you're giving them star ratings or a color label. And this is where Auto Advance really helps you do this much more efficiently. Now, when you first get Lightroom right out of the box, Auto Advance isn't enabled. So if I look at this image and this is one that I want to print, I might want to give it a flag. And to give it a flag, you would hit the P key on your keyboard. So I hit the P key. And you can see, if you look at the thumbnail that is down here in the film strip, it has now a flag. But it's still sitting on the image. Well, to enable Auto Advance, you would go up while in the library module to Photo and then down to Auto Advance. And you'd click that. And what that does, you'll see, it now has a check, marks, a check mark on Auto Advance. So if I'm on this image and I want to pick it, I would hit the P key and then it auto advances to the next image. So I could quickly go through these images and pick which ones I want to print. In my case, I would hit P for the flag, and then I would hit U, and that means it will just auto advance and go to the next image and not put a flag there. And if there is a flag there, it's going to unflag it. So it quickly, you could go through the images. Let's say I don't want to print this one. I hit U, then I could hit P, P, U, P, you stuff like that so you could go through your images very quickly but what I found is very often I don't want to auto advance all the time a lot of times I'll be processing an image and I want to pick it because I just like it or whatever so I'll hit P but I don't want to move off the image so to do that I'd have to go back in the library into the library module up to photo and then turn off auto advance so now if i'm on an image and i want to pick it or give it a flag or give it a star rating or a color label i could do that and it stays on the image but my quandary is sometimes i do want to auto advance and it's a hassle to keep going to the library module if i'm in the develop module let's say i'd have to go over to the library module go up to photo down to auto advance all that the easiest way to do this is to just turn on caps lock when you turn on caps lock auto advance is temporarily enabled so i could go through the images very quickly and pick them or unpick them in my case or give them a, a star rating or give them a color flag and just very very quickly go through my images that way so when i'm done with auto advance i don't want to enable it anymore i simply disable caps lock on my keyboard and then I'll be able to just flag an image if I want to or star it and stay on that image. So that's the tip for episode 84, a little twist on using auto advance. I hope that helps you manage your images much more effectively and efficiently and taught you something you didn't know. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.